Hey everybody, welcome back to another email design challenge. And today we have this email here from In The Style. It's a collection feature email. And actually I, I really liked the like top portion of the email. And the email itself actually isn't really bad at all. I just was like, oh, I think I have some inspiration here to maybe build it out a bit further, add some product features, just kind of, you know, just zhuzh it up a bit. Uh, with some, um, yeah, some inspiration that I was feeling. So ended up popping in um, a frame here, you know, pulling it out to 600 pixel width, and then started plugging in some of the branded elements. So I went back to the site, grabbed that logo, and then I was debating whether or not to keep the, um, like the where it says like new in and clothing, you know, the little title pieces up here. So. Sometimes with an email, I just, I mean, you really don't see strong click-through rates on those icons there, unless, I will say, unless you have an email that doesn't have like a clear call to action when it's opened in somebody's inbox. So um, with this one, I mean, it doesn't have a button in the original email, but it does have a clear kind of call to action that there's a promotion going on. But let's say like that text was all the way at the bottom then you wouldn't really know. So anyways, so having that, you know, the menu at the, the at the top, I kept it, but honestly, it's it's totally not needed. So, but uh, when it started, I wanted to keep the same kind of core elements here, but just trying a new flavor to it. So I kept that feature image in and started playing with adding in almost like a background to the back of it. And then this is where I accidentally put things into the wrong section okay figma is sometimes just annoying so this is me kind of uh, undo undo there we go <laughs> and um i'm gonna speed this the heck up because let me tell you we are now getting into uh the struggles of figuring out what color to do all of the finer details so i ended up going with that yellow there which is basically the same shade that's in their kind of long border button at the bottom of the main image so uh, start playing with a button here. Let me tell you, this button was a pain in my rear. First, I just couldn't get it to like click the way I wanted to or like pop in the way I wanted to. And then I was like, okay, uh, it's too thick. Okay, now this is way too thin. So, and then I was like, okay, I've spent way too much time on this button. So let's just leave it as is. All right, and then I was playing with the title section here at the top. Um, so. I was playing with it kind of overhanging the image, but I think the feature image itself was a bit too dark. Like maybe if we had more blue sky to work with, it could work a bit better. So I was like, okay, now let's just go ahead and just kind of have it there kind of popped out by itself over uh, above the image. Um, just playing with some spacing here in the uh, menu area. And then as you can see here, I kind of like, pulled the percent in the off section above each other. That's kind of like a fun, I don't know, <laughs> this is so much fun, but kind of a fun little twist to do when you're doing like a percent off type message. Um, I, don't, I just think it, I don't know, it's just something different. <laughs> One's not better than the other, I would say, but I just something different I wanna do with that. Um, so yeah, so I was playing with that, kind of playing with the sizing here uh, to get everything kind of lined up and squared. Um, and then, started thinking that we needed kind of a lead in to happen. Oh wait, for first I was like, okay, no, I want it at the bottom. Um, and you'll soon see that I changed my mind. I wanted the call to action up at the top, um, which in most cases you really should design your emails that way with your call to action near the top. And then also I felt like the um, yellow was maybe a bit distracting. And then that's why, I, so I ended up moving it down and keeping it down there and starting with this just being kind of on a white background instead. Um, but I did want to have a um, kind of like a, what I'll put here is saying catchy lead in, but that's what I wanted was a catchy lead in into the rest of the email. So something that kind of summarizes what they're about to read below. But um, I just put this out here. If you can't think of anything, there's nothing wrong with throwing in a catchy lead in goes here, CTA goes here, and then you can come up with some copy later. Cause sometimes coming up with copy like on the spot it's just not, it's not as easy as it looks. All right, um, I wanted to leave that at the top and start working on the rest of the email. So as you can see there, playing with rounded corners, didn't like that, <laughs> went and made it uh, nice and square again. So looking at these other images, I noticed there was a trend with these crocheted items. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, well we can do maybe like a section that's dedicated to those crochet pieces. 
Uh, but it's at least get this bathing suit as like a main feature and pull those in into a section below it. So popping those in below and getting them placed in as uh, some product features, just squaring it off with the image above it. So it's all kind of aligned there. Um, and then adding in um, a uh, title section there and a description. I just pulled copy from the website. Um, I, keep in mind, I wanted to design this email in 30 minutes or less. So if I had more time, I would come up with some new copies, some new kind of you know catchy things to add in here. But in this case, <laughs> we're going with what we have on the website. Um, and then one thing I, I don't know, maybe this is just me right now. I like buttons, but also when um, you're kind of doing like a description area like this, I like doing like a minimalist button, <laughs> which is what I would consider this. It's just text with like a light underline that looks clickable, but it's more kind of minimalist looking. That's what I was going for. Okay, now we are gonna get into pure struggle, okay? Because I really wanted this kind of crochet section to work. What I was struggling with is that you have these pictures here of the um, who the collaboration is with, and then you have the model's pictures. And they're just so different, like with, um, you know, her picture right there that I just put in on very kind of like a white, um, backdrop and then the collabor uh, the collaborators <laughs> images are more sunny, they're brighter, they're just so different. Um, and there's nothing wrong with that, you know, on the website, but in the email, I just felt they just like didn't work cohesively. So what I really wanted to do was like this collage of the crocheted items, but I was just so torn with the model pictures beside the more kind of colorful pictures. So. Uh, so you'll see, I kind of take them out, I put them back in, kind of mess with them a bit. And I decided to kind of just stick with the model pictures is what I ended up going with. So uh, yeah, you can see I kind of tossed that one to the side and trying to figure out how I can have um, more of these crochet pictures aligned here. So um, you'll see, I, I really want to square things off. So as you can see, like everything kind of squares off, like they're different shapes. Some are longer, some are shorter as far as like the model pictures. Um, but I perfectly wanted a rectangular shape to go here and I couldn't find one. So I just threw a rectangle in there and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna come back to it later because <laughs> I know what I want to have there, but don't have an image for it yet. And then this is where, again, I'm just throwing in a TBD, but this is where I kind of wanted product titles to be for these ones. So just putting those in as some placeholders, messing with some of the kind of formatting there uh, just to kind of mix it up a bit. Okay, after this piece, I was like, okay, I really wanted to finish off the email at the bottom. But again, it was just, I, uh, I had this image and it just really wasn't working. Oh, <laughs> I forgot. I actually was gonna add in another section, but then um, it just, does, it does not work. You will see, this is, it just wasn't working. I, I was like, okay, maybe it could be like a lookbook at the bottom. And I was like, oh, what if we do the images as transparent and put it next to it? It just didn't look good to me. I was just like the side by side they just look like two different types of like, I don't know, images. I just wasn't feeling it. And then I tried to put that over it. Anyways, you can see I deleted everything. And then I had this in as a bottom piece to kind of round out the email. Uh, you will see I end up deleting this because I, again, I'm just not feeling it. Guys, design is a journey, okay? And uh, there's no, no, <laughs> No pure right or wrong answer when you're designing. You just got to think about the customer more than anything, less about your design, honestly, really more about user experience. So again, I was trying to play with different ways to kind of make sections pop. I was playing with another color block here and again, just wasn't feeling it. So I ended up cutting it. That's how it goes. Uh, and then start pulling in uh, these product titles. So super exciting here, adding in uh, these product title pieces. Um, I think one thing that could have maybe happened here, as you'll see, I'll, I'll end up um, adding in a, another product to that um, block there. But what I really would have loved is if we had these product images as uh, almost like flat lays where like the product is just on a plain background. And then I could like have the product popping in through the sides, like that crochet top next to the model's picture of the crochet top. like. I've done it with other emails in the past and I really like the way it looks. 
And that's originally what I really wanted to do with this additional bottom section below the crochet little items, but it just wasn't working out. It just wasn't working out. And that's just, I mean, that's how it goes with design. You gotta be adaptive. You gotta play with things. I mean, you can go in with one idea and then it just, you start to see it all come together and it just doesn't go the way you want it. So it, it happens. So getting into kind of some of the finishing touches for this email, uh, I needed to find one last crochet item. So I found this uh, fabulous bodysuit here and I was like, okay, yep, that is perfect. So got that placed in and then went with kind of um, going in tighter on this crochet bag and put that into that rectangle shape that I had wanted originally. So there we go, we got our little crochet section here. So just grabbing the final titles here and getting those all plugged in. So, I mean, you can always, if you're ever kind of struggling with like how to put your pieces together, having something like a category, like these crochet items together, or I could have stuck with just swimsuits too, but I was really drawn by these crochet items. That's what I went with, but it could all just be swimsuits and that could be, you know, maybe the kind of focus of it. So um, as you can see, uh, there I go. I deleted that bottom section, like I mentioned earlier, just wasn't feeling it. Like I said, I just didn't think it really tied everything together. Um, but I did need to come in and um, pull in my new title at the top, my catchy title. And I found on the, uh, I think her name is Danae Mercer, who is the person who did the collaboration with, was talking about self-love this summer um, with her launch post that she did. So I was like, okay, perfect. We're going to do that. We're going to pull that in. And I wanted to do almost like a kind of a pop out effect. Um, I'm sure that there is a Figma widget that will do this for you. Uh, didn't have the time to really look and find it because it kind of hit me spur of the moment to do it this way. Um, but basically looking to kind of have a little bit of like, uh, I, like an overlay type thing that's happened. So, and then I was like, okay, what's a better way to say this? You know, it's time for a self-love summer kind of thing. I thought that was cute. I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think it's cute? Do you think it's cheesy? Do you think it's just like, what does this have to do with anything? Just let me know. Um, so then I was like, okay, well, this can perfectly tie into, maybe my crochet area down here. Cause I know I need kind of like a, a bit of a breaker that's happening in between the sections. So I was like, okay, let's bring it down. Let's expand our email here. And then <laughs> I was struggling to come up with something clever. So I went to chat GPT. I was like, hey, give me a few puns on wearing crochet and looking fabulous. And honestly, some of the answers weren't that great. So I kind of, come up with something on my own anyways. So it went with crocheted coordination. Um, as you can see, I, I think I'm, I was just like, uh, what does this even mean? I don't know. And then I was like, we're loving a crocheted coordination. I don't know. I was struggling with it, you guys. So I ended up um, <laughs> coming back and changing it a bit to something more of like crochet chic coordination, except for I was like, okay, I have to be spelling coordination wrong because this does not look right. Does anybody have that? Like, okay, let me Google it. I got to Google it. Yeah, that happens way more often than I'd like to, to say. And then you can see here, I didn't realize why it wasn't aligning. I was like, what? Coordination, coordin ah, coordination. Yes, that makes sense. <laughs> so... So yeah, went with crochet sheet coordination. Um, probably not the best kind of uh, clever piece, but that's what I came up with. I was crunching on time, you guys. It was like really getting close. And um, this is our final email design. What do you think? So comparing it to the first one and on the right, we have our kind of more longer styled one. And that's it, you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this. Uh, make sure you join me. For the next one, I'll be doing a ton more of these redesign challenges. I release a new email template, Canva template, Figma template every month. So in the description, if you're not already a part of it, the release list, join it. You will get dibs the moment it drops and it's free and you can use it for your e-commerce brand. You can use it for your clients and you can just go crazy with it. So um, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.